Robert back here. Welcome to another coffee challenge. Call this the uh, camp lot coffee challenge. This is all of my camp lots in my collection up to date. Actually, I have a couple more rust buckets out hanging on the side of the shop that I plan on restoring one day. But as of now, this is my collection. I'm going to do a Steve Winkleman uh, coffee hack, but we're going to add a bluegrass bushcraft twist. I'm going to be using my Swiss Army Volcano Kit, just for a quick bull. It's got a small aluminum alcohol stove, kind of like a pop can stove, but it's made out of uh, V8, V8 cans. Got a little fiberglass wick on the bottom. From fiberglass uh, stove rope. Just use that to get it burning, get it priming. I just took a syringe and uh, squirted some denatured alcohol on my rope wick. to uh, prime it to get a uh, get it burning I see it starting to bloom already Fit my GSI style cup from Horseman Hills. Just a little bit big for that, but I've got it sitting on top of it just to help the boil time a little bit. Okay, well that's boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and do my Steve Winkleman coffee hack. Just cut the bottom off of the K cup. Open top with a razor. Okay, today we're going to be having a mocha latte I'm out of the Giovelli brand coffee but we'll be using the McDaniels uh, donut shop blend with the uh, Giovelli uh, froth pack
I should smother that out. Open our frost pack. Dump it in the bottom of the cup. Okay, here's where the uh, bluegrass bushcraft twist comes in. Just another piece of scrap aluminum flashing. Cut a hole in the center. Can lay it on top of my cup. There's Steve Winkleman's uh, coffee hack. Slowly. Okay, that's not working for me. I'm one of those moods where I want my coffee and I want it now. So. There we go, that's a little bit faster. Mocha latte. Hey, I love my lanterns, but they're putting out some heat. All right, this cup of coffee got to go out to somebody. My buddy Paul with the Real 111 TV channel. But y'all go over and check out his channel. He's into uh, Trangia. Get a lot of Trangia mess kits, emergency preparedness kits. Um, he's, got, he's got some nice kits. He's uh, got some Coleman. I think he's got some Optimus uh, stoves. And uh, hey, go check out his channel. Real 111T. I can remember I'll put his, his uh, channel to link in in the description. Okay, you'll see this video before you see my camp lot videos. Um, we've got a two-part video on this uh, rebuild of this uh, camp lot inverted. Um, been waiting to upload them because I hadn't had it running. Uh, took it apart and I flushed it out really good put it back together but uh, I managed to really mess up my generator I mean a really rookie mistake and I rebuilt the generator using a strand of uh, fiberglass stove rope put it back together and I lit it and it ran for a few minutes while I was finishing up the video but as soon as I ended the video it died on me and uh I just automatically assumed it was where I rebuilt that generator with that stove rope. So I, I added a um, text in at the end of the video that the generator was a failure. Y'all watch that, just ignore that. It is not a failure. My generator works perfect. But um, the thing was, it was the, uh, the fuel pickup tube. I cleaned it once, 
and flushed out the tank, but the hole in that pickup tube is so small. I mean, the, just the micro particle will stop that thing up. So uh, I took it back apart and I got some micro drill bits and I drilled it one size larger than what it was, wrapped the mesh back around it, put it back together, and it runs like a brand new one now. So I'm really tickled with it. So uh, y'all be sure to check out the Camp Light Inverted Rebuild, part one and two. All right, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe. God bless.